Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you my May Beauty Trash. Even though it is a little early, but um, at the end of May we are going to be on vacation. And so I wanted to get this up before we left. And then this week you will be seeing content, but next week you won't be because I will be gone. And possibly the following week, depending on when we get back, if I get enough time to film anything. But anyway, we are headed up to Wisconsin again for my nephew's graduation. We have three nephews that live up there and they were stair-stepped. And so for the last, this will be our third year in a row, we have to go on up there to Lake Geneva uh, to attend graduation. So this will be the last one though. So but anyway, we still plan on going up there. Um, every year for Memorial Day weekend. That seems, and that always seems odd to me that they graduate on Memorial Day weekend for some reason up there. It's just weird. But anyway, it is what it is. So let's get started with my trash because I have a lot this time. Um, I don't know what happened, but it just seemed like everything emptied at once. So first I'll talk about this guy here. And this is the Cinema Secret Quick Drawing Rinse Free Formula Make Makeup Brush Cleaner. And you can get this at <clears throat> Sephora. I use this every day to spot clean my uh, makeup brushes and I highly recommend it. It doesn't take very much, so this big bottle will last a long time. What I do is I just pour a little bit into a spray bottle and then I just spray my brushes and then wipe them off on a um, paper towel and it dries quick and makes your brushes smell good. And I do recommend it, so. Have that. The next product I have was a um, bath salt that I had gotten from a um, craft fair and this was in the lilac scent. It was nice and um, we go to that craft fair every year and this company or this these people are always there so I'll probably buy another one when we go. Oh this was a sad day. My toothbrush, my Philips Sonicare toothbrush, my electric toothbrush bit the bullet um is done it won't it holds a charge but it doesn't work i mean you can barely hear it but it doesn't do any vibrating anymore it's like this piece right here is come apart or something in there but anyway i've had it for i don't know a good three years so anyway so that's done getting rid of it i do like those i like those a lot i did order a new one but it's not that brand but it's along the same lines but it's a lot cheaper and after I used it for a while I'll let you know how I like it and if I recommend it or not. Then I did finish up um, some of the Sugar Bear Hair hair vitamins. Um, they're vegetarian gummies that are supposed to help um, recover lost hair and help to thicken hair. Um, I think they're working because I've noticed less um, hair in the shower. So um, I have, I got like a, a six month supply of them and then I split it with my daughter. So I have two more of these to use. So, um, so far I think they work. She seems to think that they work. So anyway, and I ordered those off of that website, the Sugar Bear Hair website. You can Google it and you can see all kinds of reviews on it. And then I also did finish um, from Ollie a purely probiotic um, vitamin. I think it's very important that we take a probiotic to help keep our tummies healthy. And I do recommend this brand. I first found it at Target, but I've seen it at GNC. And also you can go on the Ollie website and if you know it's something that you like, you can get like um, auto delivery on them and it's a little bit cheaper to go that way. So I do makeup wipe, makeup remover wipe. I talk about these all the time. The Apple like them, we'll repurchase them all the time. I get them at Big Lots. The deodorant, this is the Dove Clinical Protection. Um, I definitely have to have something that is very strong. I, I don't think I could ever go the natural route. Um, because anyway, I like this and I will repurchase and have repurchased. Then I have a rose hip seed oil. Um, this at one 
point I thought was in a project pan, but I think it was last year's project pan and I ended up not even using it. But what I did with this, how I have found that I like to use this is I'm using a, I like an oil cleanser to take off my makeup. But I have my Purity Made Simple from Philosophy. I have a big giant one that I'm trying to work through before I purchase any other makeup removers. And so what I did with this is I put my Purity into a smaller container and then I put this whole bottle of this in there and it kind of makes it like an oily creamy type remover so I'm kind of getting the best of both worlds and I used this up because rose hip seed oil um, it's very unstable so you should be using your your rose hip seed oil within a few months of opening it or is it it will go bad it will go rancid so I thought well I need to um, use this up and that's what I did I put it into that cleanser I did finish the or the ordinary 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil um, I put this on at night over all of my skincare it was the last step I won't be repurchasing it I'm, I'm just not that impressed with the rose hip seed oil I know it's good for you and everything but I just don't I don't like the way it feels so um, won't be repurchasing that this was very inexpensive though so if you're if you like the rose hip seed oil and you're looking for one that's inexpensive um, the ordinary line is very affordable I finished a Sunday Riley good jeans um, this was from a kit and I will not be repurchasing this because um, the lactic acid from the ordinary is works the same um, you get the same results and it's a whole lot cheaper than what this guy is so won't be repurchasing that but that is a good product I mean it did have results with it it's just the price tag of it's so dang high and then also from Sunday Riley is the Luna sleeping oil a little deluxe sample um, I won't repurchase the full size of it it's a retinol or retinoid um, product and I have some retinol and retinoid products from the ordinary that I like better so that won't be a purchase as far as the full size I do have several of those little deluxe size samples that I'll be using but I just not going to go out and purchase that full size of that oh and then I did finish my C perfume um, this is the one that um, smells like roses and grapefruits it actually had an organza um, ribbon around it so if you're looking for it that's it's not the original one it's a lighter version of, of the original but it smells like grapefruit and rose and it just smells so good and I always would get so many compliments on this when I would wear it oh, it's so expensive but yes I think I would definitely repurchase it but um, I have some perfumes I'm working through right now and I think once I get done with those, um, this is going to be one of those signature scents that stay in my collection. Toothpaste. This is the Crest um, 3D White Brilliance Advanced Stain Protection. I did like this and would repurchase it. I like using a, a whitening toothpaste just to kind of help keep the stains at bay as much as possible because I do drink a lot of... Um, Diet Coke. Unfortunately, I know it's not good for me, but anyway, so this would be the uh, repurchase for sure. Oh, this guy right here. This is the Cremo um, Moisturizing Shaving Cream that you can get at Walmart. This one here in the um, orangey peach color lid is from the women's section. They also have one from the men's section that I'm using right now. Um, the only difference between the two is just the scent. Um, this one was a what was this a coconut mango and the other the one from the men's is like a citrus scent um, love this this is um, second bottle here so I'm on my third um, thing of it which is very rare for me because I never ever ever used shave creams ever or gels or anything I didn't like them but this I really do like um, cut it open to get all of it would definitely repurchase it and do recommend um, this container here is like a 90 day supply so a little bit goes a long ways I have a couple of hair oils and this is the agave healing oil treatment some deluxe samples that I had 
I do like this. I definitely like the smell of it. So um, if you're looking for a good hair oil, but you don't want to spend the price on the Kerastase that I talked about in my favorites, I would give this one a try. And you can get this at um, Sephora, I know for sure. Uh, this one, I don't know if you can get it at Ulta, but I know you can get it at the deluxe size sample of Algenist Moisturizer. This is the Genius from the Genius line. Um, it was okay, not necessarily my favorite, but I did use it as a daily moisturizer. Definitely was not enough moisturization for at night, but it was okay for the day. Finished up this guy from Dr. Brandt. This is the 3D filler mask. Um, this is, you put it on, before you put your makeup on and you put it concentrated in areas where you have lines and this is supposed to help fill in those lines so that your makeup will sit on top. Um, the issue that I had with this was that it would cause my foundation and stuff to, to ball up so I wouldn't purchase the full size of this. Matter of fact, I didn't even finish all of it. I was just done with it. So, meh. What is this? Oh, this is a little travel size of the Chanel um, oh, I can't even pronounce it. But anyway, it's a mascara primer that you put on before your mascara. I don't recommend it at all. Um, you can get the one from L'Oreal that's a lot cheaper and is a lot better than this. Um, so I don't recommend it. I have a full size that I'm using right now that I purchased a long time ago. But I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't recommend that. No. Oh, I finished an eyeshadow. This is from Makeup Geek. <clears throat> this is the color in White Lies. Um, this I used as an all-over lid base um, to put all over the lid to create a nice smooth canvas for other eyeshadows, and it's gone. I really like that. Oh, so I do recommend that one. I also finished the Ola Henriksen Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. This is a very nice oil. I would use this, my hair is like all over it anyway, um, during the day. Um, put this on as my last step of my um, skincare routine before going in and putting on makeup and I really did like that. This would definitely be something I would think about purchasting. Um, I'm trying to see if it has, I think it's a vitamin C oil is what it is yes it is I actually like this one better than I like the one from drunk elephant that I'm using right now so and that one's cheaper and lastly I have um, a deluxe size sample of this and you would have you will see this featured in a favorites this week um, so I'll do a full review of it on that favorites but it's the first aid Facial Radiance Intensive Peel. It was a deluxe size sample, and I would definitely um, purchase the full size of that during the next BID sale. And then the last thing I have is something that I didn't finish, but I know it's old. It has to be old, because I know I've had this for at least a good four, four years. It's the Aloe Jelly with the Lavender. I don't even know where I even got it at, but anyway, I'm tossing it. So that is it for my May empties. I hope that you enjoyed and um, will subscribe and stay a while and give me a thumbs up. And um, any comments or suggestions, please leave those in the comment box. And I will talk to you later in the week. Bye.